Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss a vector question with you. So I have given the question in the description so you can always download that. Please try it in your own after that, watch the rest of the video and compare your answer with mine. Ok, let's start the question. The first part of that question is a force of magnitude 9 acting parallel to 2i minus 2j plus k displaces the point of application from Two, they are given the two coordinates compute the total work done here so in this question they are asking about the total work however we haven't studied any equation related to that however we actually knew that if we if we are answering a vector question we need to solve this we need to solve this question or we need to get the answer in the vector method so for that when we are using the normally when we are calculating the work we normally use force into distance however we can't directly find the force force total force over here but they have given the magnitude and actually we don't know the direction also but they have given in the vector form so we need to find what's the force and what's the direction and what's the distance travel of that point in that direction so it, it would be a little bit difficult if we use the normal method so we need to find a way to use the vector method so that we can easily find the answer. Similarly, to the work we have already done for finding a moment. So in that case, when we are finding the moment, actually we have given the force magnitude as well as the direction, as well as the perpendicular distance from that, from a point. So in that case, we have directly used uh, F cross distance sorry distance cross f as i have already mentioned you can directly use that when we when they asked to calculate a moment you can directly use r the perpendicular distance vector cross product into f vector likewise we need to find here whether we can use that same cross product or we need to use dot product over here so that it would be easy to find the answer so here i am going to just uh, do a diagram draw a diagram and I'm going to find whether I need to use the dot product or cross product it would be simple if I draw a diagram so over here let's say there's a force like this in this direction and the object has been moved from this point to this point let's say the angle of this is theta which simply means the, this is the vector of the force that means the direction of the force vector and this is the direction that object moved so from that we can directly tell this is the direction vector of that displacement likewise this is the force vector so that we can directly tell this is the angle between them so over here if there is a force like this and that object is moving for let's say this is the r distance we can directly tell the work done by this force in that direction would be f into r cos theta so this is the equation we normally use so here we are going to find how we can get this equation using vector form so if you have a diagram or if we have a image like this we can directly tell this uh, this symbol can be obtained by using f dot r if we simplify this we are going to get f mod of f into mod of r which means magnitude of r into the angle cosine angle between those two vectors so if we simplify this we are going to get this f r cos theta so now we have find the method the but the thing is we need to use f dot r or simply means we need to get the dot product between f the force vector and displacement vector if we done so we can get the answer simply so here they have given the magnitude of force is 9 so i'm going to mark that so the magnitude of sorry i have marked it like this so the f the magnitude of f vector is going to be 9 and they have given it's acting parallel to 2i minus 2j plus k so i'm going to mark the direction so actually we knew the direction it's going to be 
2i minus 2j plus k is parallel to this. However, in the previous video also we have discussed when we are converting or when we are changing the magnitude of this one, we are going to change this direction vector and we are going to change the magnitude of this direction vector to 9. How are we going to change that is, first of all we need to find what's the unit vector in that direction. So we have already done this. So when we are finding the direction vector of, sorry, the unit vector of this direction vector, we need to find the square of these three elements, the coefficients of each axis and we need to add it up them and after that we need to get the root value. So if I do that, I'm going to get 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared is going to be 9 and after that if I see the root it's going to be 1 by 3 into the vector 2i minus 2j plus k. So this is the unit vector of that direction vector. Actually we knew that f is also in this direction so this is a unit vector. However, we already knew that the magnitude of this vector is 9. So we can directly tell the magnitude, the vector f, the force vector is going to be, we need to multiply, we are, will be getting 3, 9 into 1 by 3 is 3, 2i minus 2j plus k. So now we have found that. So after that, we need to use f dot r because I have already told, we have already found this one. f dot r is going to give the answer or it's going to give the work so now we have find this one so i'm going to write it directly to i minus 2j plus k so either you can write like this or you can use minus so comma sign over here and write this so after that into dot product dot and we need to find the the vector direction vector of the distance or displacement for that, actually, we knew two points. They are given the two points or two coordinates. So we can directly tell what's the direction of that. So if the object is moving from 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7, so that we can directly tell we need to deduct the first point from the second point coordinates. So if I do so, I'll be getting 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Let's say I'm going to write it like comma and 3 minus 2 is going to be 1 and 7 minus 3 is going to be 4. So this is the direction vector of displacement. So the final work is to be done. We need to multiply these two vectors. It's as if it's a dot product, you can directly use the, you can directly multiply these numbers. So if I do so, I'm going to get 2 into 4 is going to be 8 and here minus 2 so minus 2 into 1 minus 2 and here plus 1 into 4 plus 4 so i'll be getting for a 12 10 30 so this is the answer 30 you need to give it in the right format so 30 joule it might be 30 joule but they have given they haven't given any similar unit over here so you can directly tell like 30 joule or you can simply tell 30 so it's enough So the next question is, so we are going to discuss the second question in the next video. If you have any doubts, please comment it below. Thank you.